So we tested out a new letter to see if members can get more deletions in the first round. And man, nine out of those 10 people got some deletions. And you know me, I'm gonna break it all down. So sit back, relax, grab a pen, get some paper, get something to drink. We are gonna get straight into it. So first things first, I wanna let you know that I'm not a lawyer. I'm just here to show you your rights so you two can knock the credit barrels out, all right? So Google 15 USC 1681EB, all right? Now, once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on this. All right, now this is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, all right? This is breakdown of all the specific laws that's within the Fair Credit Reporting Act. You can read over it. But as you can see, I want to break it down to you. You want to click on subchapter if you can. And then from there, you're going to see all the specific laws that's within the Fair Credit Reporting Act, all right? I'm going to show you the law so you can YouTube can leverage it, all right? Because I know there's a lot of new people that's constantly watching this channel. And all right, so this should be a reminder for the people that's already watching, but for the new people, go to 15 USC 1681 E, right? Compliance and procedure. Now, what you want to do is scroll down to um, letter B, all right? Accuracy of report. Now, as you can see, whenever a consumer reporting agency, which is Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, and many other people, prepares a consumer report, it shall follow a reasonable procedure to ensure maximum possible accuracy of the information concerning the individual about whom the report relates. So what does that mean? That's what you're probably thinking, all right? So what, does, what that te technically means is when you look at your report, here's an example. So let me show you. So when you look at your report, as you can see, let me present it. When you, look, when you go over your report and you look at all the negative accounts, open, closed, but mostly, of course, closed on your credit report, all right? So the negative accounts, as you're going to see, you're going to have the account name at the top, but you're going to have the account number right here, all right? But you want to go over the specific details, all right? And according to the law, as you saw, 15 USC 1681EB, whenever a consumer reporting agency, TransUnion, Experian, Equifax, prepares your report, it's supposed to assure maximum possible accuracy. So what does that mean? They open, it's supposed to be the same. Um, balance is supposed to be the same, number of months, high credit, credit limit, past due, payment status, um, last reported, supposed to be the same, date last active, date last payment, two years payment history. All this history is supposed to be the same on Experian, on TransUnion, and on Equifax, all right? And if it's not, that's a violation of your rights, all right? So go look at your report and see if any of your accounts are not assured maximum possible accuracy and if it's not then what you want to do is go to this letter right here and i'm going to share it with you all right go to this letter right here and what we're going to do is create a letter based off of that specific law all right so what you want to do is you can go to freesecretletter.com and get this letter and i'm gonna have it pinned to the description and pinned to the comments it's free you can go ahead and download it the new free secret letter all right so first name middle initial last name all right very important address, all right, city, state, zip code, put today's date, right? And then who are you talking to? Are you talking to Experian? Are you talking to TransUnion? Or are you talking to Equifax? Very important, all right? And then from there, what you want to do is just have something very brief, all right? I was looking over my report, and I noticed these accounts listed below are not ensuring maximum possible accuracy according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Delete accounts listed below for a violation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, all right? You looked over your report, you saw the inaccuracies, all right? So what you want to do is just I highlighted everything that you need to change. So you want to put the account name and the account number, all right? Now, you don't need, you don't, a lot of people ask this question, you don't need the full account number. You just need whatever that's on your report. So one, two, three, four, X, 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 whatever that case may be, one, two, X, X, one, X, all right? So you just need some of the numbers now if it don't show for example here's an example if it doesn't show the full account number if it doesn't show the full account number just grab the one that's on expand or transunion all right so next what you want to do is say this account is not showing let me make this a little bit smaller this account is not showing maximum possible accuracy according to the according to 15 USC 1681 EB. The open date, and you could just change this out. Date last active is not accurate. 
delete account immediately for violation of 15 USC 1681 EB. All right. And what you want to do is just uh, list all the accounts that are not assured maximum possible accuracy. All right. You looked over your report. You're going to leverage the law. Now you want to create this letter and add two. What we told them to do, not add two, three forms of identification. All right. Because Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax tend to play crazy. They say that you sound like a credit repair company. So you want to add three forms of identification and you're going to send this certified, very important. So um, pictures of your picture of your driver's license, pictures of a uh, picture of proof of residency. Take the picture, I mean, take the um, statement out of the um, letter, take a full picture of it. All right. Next, what you want to do is take a picture of your social security or, or something else that you might have that shows proof of residency. All right, just have three forms of identification. Very important. And then list all the negative accounts. For example, right here, if you have five, 10, just list all of them on one letter, all right? And then from there, what you want to do is just say, thank you for your time and attention. Sincerely, put your first name, last name, all right? Very important. And send that certified to Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, all right? You want to wait. Very important. Wait. 35 days, all right? So now what you wanna do, of course, is wait 35 days. 30 days for them to complete the investigation. They have 30 days to complete the investigation and they have five days to send that investigation back to you, all right? Now, some of your accounts are gonna come back verified and some of your accounts might get deleted. Congratulations, I'm knocking the credit bureaus out. But in the meantime, as you're waiting, in the meantime, as you're waiting, you wanna be adding positive accounts to your credit report, all right? What I mean by that, you can go to Boom Pay, you can do Rent Reporters, you can do Rental Karma, if you have Identity IQ, you can do Utility Reporting, and report some um, report that utilities that you're already paying, report that to the credit bureaus to boost up your credit score and improve your credit history, all right? Very important as you're waiting during that process. But if your accounts come back verified, what you wanna do is just compare reports, compare it from last month, compare it to this month, all right? And what you're gonna see is, According to 15 USC, if you read over the law, according to 15 USC 1681 I5, they're supposed to update it, they're supposed to modify, or they're supposed to delete the account. And they probably didn't do none of that, all right? So what you wanna do is leverage 15 USC 1681 I7 and ask them for the, the description of how they verify those accounts. And they're supposed to provide it to you within 15 days and you can read over the law as well, all right? And usually don't they don't do that. So what you wanna do now is File a complaint with a CFPB to help you knock the credit bureaus out. So if you want to get access to this new free secret letter, click the link in the description, click the link in the first comments, get access to that free secret letter and knock the credit bureaus out.